Hi, uh, we'll be recording here. I'll be teaching you how to set up tenancy.dev uh, Laravel package uh, in our Laravel application. So first, we're going to be creating a new Laravel application. We'll just name it tenancy for now. While it's installing, um, we'll go to tenancy.dev for the documentation. And we'll open up table plus for our database setup. So this is the tenancy um, website. Uh, we'll be using the thin version of it. So the stable version is 5.4. Okay. So that's set up. Um, see the tenancy code. We'll open up code for now. Uh, this is my uh, text editor. So open the env file. Tenancy. Yep, local host. Okay. Uh, database would be tenancy. Uh, username tenancy. Uh, the password tenancy. Okay, so for now, let's go to Meet Access and let's create some database. It's already there. Uh, let's delete it for now. Drop and uh, this. Okay, there. We're going to be creating some users. So, so Tenancy, tenant, tenancy, local uh, We need uh, the uh, grant permissions. Uh, this is a mandatory uh, SQL user uh, permissions that we need to add in our tenancy uh, user. Check tenancy. Okay, apply, set, okay, so we have that already set up now, and next what we're going to do is we're going to go to installation, okay, copy this one, then this, Okay. Actually, let's just copy this one. My SQL system. Copy this URL. Post the port. Post and port. Base user password. <coughs> and then second. So, so that's it. So we're going to fill out all the 
things here post port database username and password okay NV okay post port is no need to change, no need to change and the password. Okay, just remove this one. Password is tenancy. Okay. What's next? Package installation. Composer require. Can multi Okay, so what tenancy do is it will allow your uh, Laravel installation to be uh, multi-tenant aware. What this means is that you can create SaaS applications in a very, very easy manner. Installing those needed packages. <clears throat> okay, that's done. Uh, we're going to publish config files. So we have migrations and tenancy config files in the web server but we're gonna not we're not gonna use the web server part um, and so we're gonna remove that so in the migrations department we have new migration files for the system websites host names and uh, adding managed by database connections for the websites. There's a field jobs there. Okay. And then we're going to be migrating system model. Uh, we're going to be using the system database here. So there, it's migrated. Okay. So if we check host names, migrations, password and users and websites. Okay. So I created a virtual host for our system here. We're gonna add uh, user logins. Okay. I forgot how to do that in Marvel 6.0. Okay. Okay, our value I That is installed. Installed use. This one. Okay. 
it says we need to run new install so run to Google the packages. So there, yarn run So now we have the login. Let's get done building the packages. So yeah. login and register. Okay. We'll continue this after the break.